Welcome to a TLDR counter guide for Elytrazor, for anyone who's been farming the mount since the original release. Elytrazor is one of the first bosses in the Firelands and has two alternating phases, sort of. Split the raid into left and right gang to deal with the adds on each side of the room, and assign some elite DPS to be your flyers. On pull, the boss deals an AoE knockback, then flies into the air. She occasionally flies through the middle of the room, casting a frontal so don't stand in it, and drops feathers behind her. Grabbing three feathers lets you fly, so these are for your top gun squad, and tanks can grab a feather to help kite adds. If you're in the air, follow the boss, dodging the clouds she leaves behind, and fly through the rings to get a stacking haste buff giving 50% crit if you reach 25, and DPS on the ground should interrupt the initiates and dodge their fire waves. Hatchlings fixate the closest player when they spawn, so this should be the tanks, and they deal a frontal that gives a bleed so face them away. When they get hungry they can enrage, so drag them to the worms around the room to feed them. You get two sets of adds with four worms per add, and the worms have a fire breath so no one stand near them. On heroic you get three sets and only two worms each, so only soothe them when you absolutely have to, and assign a few healers to keep the tanks alive. Also on heroic, a new add cause a meteor from the sky that you need to DPS to stop it hitting the walls. They deal AoE to anything nearby, so have ranged kill them, then use them to hide from Firestorm, lethal damage to anyone caught in line of sight. And this includes the flight squad, so pre-check where your meteor is before you panic fly to the wrong side. After 3 minutes or 410 on heroic, the boss removes the top gun buff, so flight squad need to get to the floor before you lose it. She spawns a fire vortex in the middle of the room with rotating tornadoes, so dodge, dip, duck dive and dodge. She then crashes to the floor and gains a massive damage amp, so pop blast all of your CDs and blast the absolute shit out of her. During this, she recharges energy and adds spawn to give her more, so grip them in and keep them interrupted while you blitz the boss. At 50 energy, she gets up and needs to be tanked, casting her frontal so no one stand in it. She also deals heavy pulsing raid-wide damage, so chain some healer CDs together to keep everyone alive until she reaches 100. At full energy, she deals one final AoE with a knockback and flies back into the air to restart phase 1, then keep going through the rotation until you eventually bring her down. And that's it for Elysrazor, congrats on your kill. Now you can all flame the guy who looted the mount on his first kill and suddenly can't make raid anymore. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one.